using the right weights and getting down to the bottom of the river is definitely going to make it a little bit more effective. It's going to get you where the big fish are, you know? Oh. Hang on. There we go. Fish on. It's going to get you right where the big fish are. 90% of the time, the fish feed on the bottom of the river. So to get down there, you need to use your weights effectively. Oh, this is a really good fish. Oh man, he's huge. Anyways, you use one or two weights. Depending on how fast the current's going and how deep it is, you need to adjust so you can effectively bounce across the bottom of the... Oh, oh man. So you can effectively bounce across the bottom. Now, you're going to get hung up, which is, you know what, you're going to lose some stuff now and then. But, right here is what you're going to end up with. This is unbelievable. This is a monster. I can't control him. He's... All I can hope for is that I get him in so you guys can see him. He's on the other side of the river. I'm running this with two pound test ultralight here and a size 12 eagle claw. It's not even a regular hook. It's a scud hook. It's a fly hook. So the presentation is really light. And this fish just got it on the drift. As I said, staying across the bottom. You literally want to feel that bump. What I like to do, if you noticed before, I was kind of feeling that bump as it was going down. This fish is unbelievable. I can't even concentrate. Hopefully, you guys staying down on the bottom of the river next time you're out will get you a fish like this. Stay tuned because I got to pay attention to this thing. This is crazy. He's running me upriver. I can't control him. Oh no. He's in he's in the he's in the trees. Oh. I'm never gonna get him out. Two pound test, I can't muscle him out. You know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go up to these rapids. I'm gonna walk across for this fish. Because he's ginormous. Oh, if I can make it. Unreal. Not 
just got to get back across. I had to loosen up the drag because he was pulling me through the trees. He had wrapped around. I can't believe I still have them on. This thing is an absolute monster. I'm shaking. Let's see if we can walk down on him a little bit. Gain some line. I can't do anything with him. You know what? I'm just going to take it real easy with him. And just try and guide him in. Sometimes a fish like this, with super lightweight line, you don't really want to fight them as much as coax them. I can see him out there. So much for coaxing. Here we go. Uh, come on, baby. He's huge. I know. There it is. Oh <laughs> my god. Will you look at the size of this fish? Keep your bait on the bottom. Keep it in the rocks. Lose a little bit of tackle. And you are going to catch a fish like this. Here, hold this. Because I'll tell you what. This fish is... From the tip of my arm, this fish has got to be 23 inches long. Look at that. That is just absolutely huge. Well, this is the best part right here. Releasing just a, an amazing, amazing fish back into the water. Here we go. Till next time, buddy. And there he goes. Yes.